Welcome back. As promised in the previous video, today I will continue to restyle my Volvo. And this is the original Volvo accessory Sport Pedals R design. I got them and I will install it today. For installation, we'll need just uh, a few tools. A window spray with a rag to clean the pedals before installation. A bone tool, a mirror, some kind of mirror and gloves. Now, the kit that I got you're gonna see the part number in a moment, but you can also order the pedals separate. I didn't know that you can get them separate, which is gonna be even cheaper, but it's too late. This is the kit, this is the part number, and what you get from factory is just plain black pedals. The R-Design comes standard on R-Design models. Now let's take a closer look. The gas pedal is just plastic and the brake pedal actually has a rubber pad which is replaceable. I already have the R-Design shifter, I have a video for that. I also have the R-Design steering wheel, there is also a separate video for that. And today we'll be installing the R-Design sport pedals. We'll take it for a drive and I'll give you my impressions. So let's get started. In the box you're gonna get printed instruction manuals in a few languages and of course the actual pedals. Now there's four versions. There is left hand drive, right hand drive, automatic transmission and standard transmission. So there is four variants for the pedals. These are the part numbers, you can order them separate and it's gonna come up as I've heard even cheaper than getting the whole package as one. Uh, they're made of aluminum and rubber and it's an excellent quality, let me tell you. If you get a closer look at the back you're gonna see the printed part number and it says Sweden, pretty nice. Same thing on the brake pedal. Now the quality is amazing, the aluminum is just perfect, there is no imperfections, it's just cut out nicely. And I can't believe you're gonna be stepping with your dirty footwear on the pedals. The surrounding is flexible rubber, this is, this is what will make the pedals fit on the car and not fall off, as you can see here. Now, the printed instruction manuals, you can always pause and take a closer look, but I will be putting a link in the description below to the online instructions. So, if you like. Now, installation. For installation, you'll need a mirror to make sure that the rubber groove fits nicely around. Now, I'm going to be starting with the gas pedal. There is no uh, rubber pad on it, it's just plastic. Make sure you clean it off well to get rid of any uh, dried dirt in the grooves. As you can see, mine is clean now. The brake pedal is different. There is a rubber pad on it. Just pull at the bottom and it comes off. It's replaceable if you wish. And if you flip it over, there is a Ford Motor Company stamp on it, which reminds us that Ford owned Volvo at some point and uh, pretty much the pedals are now ready to be installed. Starting off with the gas pedal here, I'm not following exactly the instructions because it took me a lot longer than I thought. I thought it's gonna be simple, just put it on, done. No, you're on your knees bending over and there's not much room to work around. I'm using my fingers and the bone tool and I'm trying to get that rubber around the plastic pedal. And finally, it's on. So what you're, what you're looking at right now is actually already the couple 30 seconds of installation. And to check it over, you need to use a mirror or use your cell phone. You wanna look at the back to make sure that the rubber groove is all around the plastic pedal. As you can see here, it sits nicely around because you want to make sure it doesn't come off when you drive. We're going to continue now with the brake pedal. Same idea there. Took me longer than I thought, but a little bit easier since there is a little bit more room. It's higher up of the floor there. And I'm going to speed up the process here. I'm using my fingers around and the bone tool to help me out. You can even lubricate it with the uh, window spray there. And to check it over, as you can see, it's installed correctly. And now to the results.
I did know about this accessory for a long time, but never really had plans on it. But after installing the R-Design steering wheel and shifter, I had to get it. And now it completes the interior look. Every time when I open the door, it just looks in your eyes. It feels and looks amazing. I do recommend the pedals, so get it. Now a little bit about using the car. The new pedals feel a little bit different when I drive the car and I guess that's because they're rubber and they're brand new. So the brake pedal is more grippy and the accelerator is. And the accelerator, remember, before it was just plastic and now it's rubber. So it also feels grippy on your footwear. Maybe there is a little downside to the new pedals is that they require now more attention. So every time when I wash the exterior of the car, I need to give them a quick a wet rug on them. I hope you like this video and you've enjoyed it so hit like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you next time. Thank you and bye bye. Shadow Don't you know